Today I'm going to talk about this beautiful Italia guitar. As I've told before, Italia is one of my favorites. They started producing guitars in the 90s, I think 98 it was, and they sort of produced these retro looking guitars, but with a lot of modern technology. They were produced in, in South Korea and designed by Trevor Wilkinson, and somehow they disappeared in 2018 or 19 and uh, now there's a big competition to get these guitars in the market second hand. I got this Italia Modena guitar quite recently. Now this looks like a bit like a Thunderbird but this apparently is based on what you call a Crucianiali guitar uh, from Italia, the country Italia in the 60s. Let's go through these pickups first. I'll start with the uh, neck pickup. As you can hear, it's a bit strange. So that's a very thick, beautiful, bassy sound. Now this switch is five-way toggle, so it's a bit like a, you know, a Stratocaster switch. I go in the middle now. I think. And now let's take the bridge pickup. I should add that this bridge pickup is a Seymour Duncan added later on. Somebody modded this guitar. I don't mind. Here goes the bridge pickup. <laughs> actually reminds me of a Rico backer slightly and this guitar was a big surprise for me because I was looking for a rock guitar I wanted to play Queens of the Stone Age and this turned out to be sort of a very classical pop guitar with very very beautiful round clean sounds let's try some more <laughs> This is based on a uh, Vox AC30 simulation, this whole sound, so it's very British as, as well. This guitar, by the way, is very heavy. That, that's why it has a lot of sustain. It's more than four kilos. This body apparently is Agathis, which is rare, heavy, but very resonant. Neck is clearly rosewood and quite long, so it sort of reminds you of um, maybe a jazz master slightly. I keep everything turned up and so uh, you get the whole blast. Let's still try that bridge pickup. I really enjoy that sound. sustain as you can hear. I'm not very good with you know these things, the vibrato arms. So there's one here, I have nothing to say about it. It's um, I don't know if it's good or bad. Anyway the um, the design is is classical and it has this beautiful sunburst and this really glossy looking um, cover here. So about Italia guitars I own three of them and you can see in my earlier videos that I presented all of them, they are really value for money. So my advice is, if you get your hands on one, buy it or, or just keep it, because these guitars really will last for a long time. So 
if there's Italian people listening, uh, we still look forward to hearing more about you and getting our hands on these beautiful guitars. One last thing, this is my only guitar uh, with three pickups. I try to avoid that <laughs> range of options. Maybe because uh, I try to stick to one sound and it's usually in the middle. But I've learned that these recently realized that when you have these options, you can easily move between quite jazzy sounds. To this absolute blast of rock and roll. So I look forward to trying different sets up, setups with this guitar maybe some more aggressive amplifiers and so on. But I'm really happy to have this guitar and I look forward to discussing this more maybe later on when I use it with different amplifiers. See you later!